big fight this weekend yeah. against Bermain Stivan, former heavyweight champion of the world. Some people think you might have bitten off more than you can chew, considering you've only had seven fights. Yeah. What are your thoughts on this? Well, I started off my heavyweight career against, uh, you know, a really live, dangerous opponent in Ian Lewison. So, and I've been, you know, I've been fighting guys who've got winning records and uh, I think I'm ready from my experience in the amateurs, uh, mixing that top level, sparring all these top guys. I, um, I think it's a good test for me. I think... Um, and should I beat him, which I have faith in myself in beating him, I'll be, you know, propelled into to some big fights this year. So it's a, you know, it's a great big stepping stone. Uh, but main Stavern. So you're saying you're confident you can beat him. Can you do it by knockout? Um, yeah, that's the plan. Um, he's a very tough, tough, experienced guy. So, you know, it's not going to be easy. And it's, uh, he's been training hard and he's coming to win. So it's gonna, you know, a lot of respect to him, and you know, we're gonna have a have a great fight Saturday night. So, you know, stay tuned. I spoke to your coach earlier on, Ebro Sanchez, and he, I put it to him. I said, if you were to, if he were to choose who you should fight amongst the so-called elite three, Joshua, Fury, or Wilder, and he said Joshua. Yeah. Any thoughts on that? Um. <laughs> I don't know. Well, all all of them three fights are fifty-fifty fights. So, whichever one gets made, then I'll be, uh, you know, I'll be up in the up in Big Bear training with Abel Sanchez, getting prepared. How many fights do you think you would need before you're ready to take on any one of those three boxers we just mentioned? I think maybe three or four. Just three or four? Yeah, like of um, you know of high-level opponents. I'll uh, you know I'm ready. I'm ready now. So. Uh, you're ready now after just seven fights? Wow. Yeah, I mean, you know, I've gone to loads of tournaments around the world on the, on the GB team. I've, you know, been to all the majors, you know, the Olympic silver. And I've done uh, 14 WSB fights, which are similar. To, they're like kind of like learning fights like you'd have in the pros. So it's five, five three-minute rounds. So, you know, I think I'm ready. I'll... You know, facing guys from all over the world, so and sparring with the top guys, like uh, did lots of did like four or five years with Anthony Joshua sparring him, and had uh, well, I sparred Bermain Stavern in Vegas, I Brazil, um, I sparred with Tyson Fury, came up before the you know, the Wilder Fury, and so you know I know what my skills are and, and where I fit in the heavyweight division so I think it's just getting the right fights at, and you know picking up my world title but Men Steven has been quite respectful to you and so have you towards him but what do you make of his Don King's representative Carl Lewis chatting over there what did you make of all that well yes yeah, it's, it's some hype talk he's, he's, he's spitting uh, I, I don't know what um, I don't know what happened. Uh, obviously, Don, Don King couldn't make it, but I'm sure he, you know, filled in his spot and you know started to cause a bit of a ruckus. And then you know Sam jumped in and uh, got Bermain all fired up. So um, yeah, it's, uh, it's 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 exciting stuff. Until then, we thought we were just going to have a docile press conference because Bermain wasn't saying much, and then all of a sudden it got ignited. Yeah, it definitely touched the nerve. So give us a prediction. What round this weekend? I think I'll be happy with um, like within six or seven. But I, I mean, I'd love to do a, a wilder job on him, but I, I don't know. He, he's, I don't know. I can't see that happening. I don't know. We'll, we'll see. We'll see. See, see Saturday night. Thank you very much for your time.